Hi everybody, welcome to the Becky and Boca Show. I am in Ybor City. I wanted to come here on a Saturday night and show you what it is like. It's a lot like Bourbon Street in New Orleans or Duval Street in Key West. There are a lot of little bars and restaurants, lots of people down here, so let's check it out. Ybor City is a National Historic Landmark located a little bit northeast of downtown Tampa. Today, it is an active social area full of bars and restaurants. The Tico Line streetcar system connects downtown Tampa to Ybor City. So it's just like bar after bar after bar down here. Lots of people, lots of music. Ybor City is named after cigar magnate Vincent Martinez Ybor, a Spaniard who immigrated from Cuba toward the end of the 19th century. In 1885, Martinez Ybor and fellow cigar manufacturer Ignacio Haya formed a partnership to develop this as a cigar manufacturing town. In some of the shops, you can still see cigars rolled by hand, just like they were in 1886. They imported tobacco from Cuba and hired Cuban exiles to work in these factories. By the early 1900s, Ybor City was known as the cigar capital of the world. There are 950 historic buildings in Ybor City, including some of the original cigar factories. You step back in time when you visit Ybor City, and as you walk around, you can catch whiffs of cigars and Cuban coffee. It has a rich cultural history that is really unique to Tampa. Ybor City has multiple ethnic social clubs dating back to well over 100 years ago including a Spaniard club, a Cuban club, and an Italian club. So behind me is the Italian club. It's called Le Union Italiana, and it served as a social gathering place for Italian immigrants. The original building burned down in 1914 and was rebuilt in 1918. Back in the day, the cigar factories were worked mainly by Cubans but also by Italians and Spaniards. Okay, this is the entrance to the Haya Hotel. Come on. This hotel is named after Ignacio Haya, the cigar manufacturer. This beautiful space is one example of the gentrification that is going on right now in Ybor City. With thoughtful design and new construction, this hotel honors the rich history of Ybor City. This chicken in the Hotel Hyatt is an ode to the wild chickens that used to roam Ybor City and still do. The population of Ybor City was ethnically mixed. Though most of the city's residents were Cubans, it was also home to Italian, Spaniard, German, Romanian Jewish, and Chinese immigrants. Okay, everybody, thanks for joining me on this episode of the Becky and Boca Show as I brought you to Ybor City. See you next week.